It was about a year ago now. I woke him up at 6.30 in the morning. I said, I have to go to the hospital. I have to go, I can't wait any longer. When it first started, I thought it was just uh, my COPD acting up. But then I got things that I don't usually get with the COPD, which, you know, is like the flu-like feeling, the fever. And I thought, well, it's, it's a little bit of the flu. You know, I'll just ride this out. And I tried probably for about four days and I ended up not being able to breathe. We ended up having to call an ambulance and uh, I ended up in the hospital. My name is Sarah and right now I live in Southern Alabama, but I grew up in New York State. I had never heard of RSV. You know, I've heard of respiratory illnesses, but never heard the term RSV. It just felt like the worst flu I could ever have, like my head felt like I was on fire all the time and, and no appetite. I can't do what I used to do. You know, I can't play with the grandchildren, run around. I try just grocery shopping. It scares me sometimes just to leave the house anymore because I don't want to end up in that predicament again. It, it's taken a toll. It's taken a toll. And this last year since I did contract RSV, it's gotten worse that my COPD and emphysema has gotten worse. I do believe that healthcare professionals should know more about RSV. And I was just blessed that, that my doctor was up to date on it. I, I wouldn't say I made a full recovery, but I feel better. And it's getting there, it's getting there. It's been slow, it's been slow, but I, I do believe that, you know, take it one day at a time.